Okay, now that we have our IP camera set up wirelessly, what we want to do now is kind of secure it a little bit in order to prevent people from accessing the setup or different uh, areas of the IP camera here. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into the settings of our IP camera. And once we're in the settings here, we want to go to the user tab, which will show us the users that we have set up already. We have admin and we have root. And the first thing we're going to do is change our administrator password. So that way, only we can modify or change the settings for the, for the camera itself. Now what we want to do is create a guest account for people that we want to allow co connection to our camera but with only with viewership rights. And we're going to go ahead and create a username of guest, a password of guest, and a, we'll verify that. Now you can create whatever password you'd like to or username you'd like to, but for our purposes here we're going to use guest. For the username and password we'll click add and then we'll type in the new password that we just created for our administrator. And now you can see that it's added our username with viewership rights. And then we'll check off the tab here that says only allow users in our database uh, to log into our camera and we'll save that. And so what we want to do now is we want to create another user. Say we have a co-owner here and we want to give everybody their own username instead of admin. So for my instance, well, for username, we could call Robert. And for a password, we'll just go ahead and create whatever we'd like. We'll give myself administrator privileges, and we'll click Add. And now I can do everything that the administrator user can do, because I'm an administrator user. And so this would be good if you wanted to see maybe if someone actually logged into the settings area and made some changes, you could see who did that and you can actually go to the log here and go through the various log entries and see um, you know who did what and everything else. This IP camera has two-way audio. If you set up a set of external speakers plugged into the IP camera you could talk and communicate with the people on the other end but if you'd like to maintain some privacy you can go to the audio tab here and this is where you would turn the audio on or off for our purposes here because we don't want guest uh, account users or anybody really to be able to hear the audio on our camera we're just going to go ahead and disable that okay so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure that our night vision uh, settings are correct in order to view the camera at nighttime so where we want to go is into the camera setup we have an option here that says white light LED and right now it's set to schedule where there's another area in here uh, where you can select the schedule for night vision to be turned on and all that. Basically what we want to do is we want to go ahead and switch this to auto. And now if the room got dark, the LEDs would automatically kick in and we could then see uh, in complete darkness with our wireless IP camera. And we'll just go ahead and hit the OK button and that should go ahead and save our settings.